guys, Mr. Johnny here, and you may ask, why are you seeing the mains plug? Well, because this project is an AC watt meter. It's in a box, actually, in project box that I bought off eBay. Quite a nice stuff, the only disadvantage I have with it is the stupid locking mechanism, that's a lead from it. And as you can see already, two out of four. This, this one and this one, these two clips already broke off because they are very flimsy. Kinda stupid. You need to close it once and don't touch it like in a year or something. If you're gonna open it up frequently, it will bust itself. Anyway, so here's how it looks inside. Of course, I'm gonna pack it in. Everything is gonna be nicely glued in place. I just uh, decided to show you in it in this state because it's I can give you a sneak peek on the solder side. You can see it's a, it has a date on it. It's actually the date I laid out PCB. I made it yesterday. Picked the parts from a post office today and finished it. And give, let's give you a little pro. The box itself kind of messes it up. Maybe we'll be able to see the chip. Yeah. AD633. 633 is a 4-quadrant analog multiplier. That's what... This I see is the heart of this device. As you can see I made a little polygon. Not that I have to, but... Meh, I'm a fan of polygons. And they save me etching solution. And I have to etch a lot of copper out because it's a main application I need isolation. This design is kind of dangerous, so if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> don't use it. Because it sits, one end of this arm, particularly this one, sits directly on one of the mains leads. It depends, it's up to you which way you plug it in. It can be neutral, it can be live touch here and you're not alive. You can see the hot glue messes it up a little bit. But, uh, oh well. Yeah. You can see these resistors are not really uh, or not really mounted all that neat because I messed it up. <laughs> I made a board for slightly smaller resistors. So this one does not really fit in, but I managed to put them in. And as you can see, they stood off the board because they may get hot under heavy loads. Secret, of course, is from Danik. I forgot to mention. Uh, schematic you will see now, actually. All right, so yeah, that's enough of a sneak peek. Let me glue it in and show you how I calibrated it. This design actually has a little bit of offset. In my case, it's about mm, three and a half millivolts. And I was a little bit frustrated by that because the uh, resolution here is one millivolt on the output equals one milliwatt. So having four millivolts of offset is kind of ugly, but it's a good thing that that offset is stable. Let this thing warm up and the offset will be the same, which is very nice. So let me put it back together and show you it running on a couple of loads and as well how I calibrated it. By the way, you might ask, where is the fuse, Johnny? Right here. That's a fuse coming out. Focus, you move. Goddamn phone. Finally. 
you can easily pop it out if you have to. In my car in this current state, this meter is good for up to eight amps. So I'm gonna put eight amp fuse in it after that. Currently it's a three amp. So now let me show you how I calibrate it. First things first. Plug it in and let it warm up for some time. Connect the multimeter before that, because I'm gonna say it again, this is floating on the mains, treat it as live connection. And for the adjustment using isolated screwdriver, like this, the ceramic one, or run it off of the isolation transformer and use any metal screwdriver you would like. Okay, the setup. This meter obviously monitors the output, and as I told you, 3.4 millivolts. Scale is again 1 millivolt, 1 watt. This meter will monitor the voltage in the mains. This meter will monitor the amperage through the bulb. If you can see there, it's a 100 watt bulb. So let's plug it in. Now, first, let me connect the meter to the mains. And we see that it's 218. Now we need a calculator nearby. We plug it in. Okay. And we take this value, multiply by that value, and set the trim pot in in such a way that you will have the same value here. So what do we have? 220 times 0.41 220 times 0.41 and we have 90 watts. So let's adjust it for that. It might be a little pesky to adjust on camera, but you got the idea. So that's that. Let me calibrate it off camera. I'm gonna show you a couple of loads. Okay, more or less got it. 89.7. And by the way, yes, I check the uh, continuously monitor the voltages and amperage. Are they the same? And they are. I got lucky. The mains are quite stable today. So let's test the soldering gun. All right. Plunk it in. Don't worry about this offset again. It's stable. Hundred in over hundred watts. I can test a variety of stuff, but it might not be very funny at all. But one scene I'm kinda curious to see is how much this consumes and am I gonna be able to find out? It's about 0.2. See, it's about 3.4, and now it's 3.5. So it's about 100 milliwatts on itself. Good, typical flyback. All right. So that's that, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See ya.